Hi, this is Alan Renu from VMI Technical Marketing. I'm going to take you through PowerCLI 5.01, the vCloud Director Commandments, and their basic usage. So with our PowerCLI window open, we can see we have version 5.01 installed. Let's take a look at our snap-ins. So we have the vmware.vimautomation.cloud snap-in there. Let's have a look at the commandlets that are installed as part of this snap-in. So we have a number of commandlets here used for working with our vCloud director. Let's take a look at how we will connect to our cloud infrastructure server or our vCloud director server. So we have a number of examples here. The first one looks relevant to us, so let's do a basic connection to our cloud infrastructure server. And mine in this case is called vCloud. I'll log in with the administrator username and password. And that's come back fine, so we're now connected. Let's take a look at our commandlets again and see what we can do. So get org, we'll first of all get a list of our organizations. So now we've done that, let's just look at one of our organization's objects and we'll see what further information we can grab from there. So you can see there's lots of useful information in there from the vapp count to whether the org is enabled or not. So let's select some of that information like the name, whether it's enabled and the vapp count. And then we'll sort it on the vapp count descending and we'll only select the first five so we can see which five of our organizations are most busy and we can easily export that so in this case we're going to export it into HTML but this could be CSV or to a text file or any other options really once we've exported that to HTML, we will just use invoke item to open that HTML document so we can see what it looks like. Let's go back to our commandlet list and see what else we can do. So one other commandlet is get CIV app that will obviously return a list of the vapps in our in all of our organizations so let's select the first one and see what further information we can get from those vapp objects there's some good information in there like the size and other items so we just run a get CI VM which is, which will display the VMs and again let's see what further information we can get from those VM objects Again, more information on there like the CPU count, the memory, the hardware version, other types of information. So now let's take one of our vapps and see if we can work out what VMs are attached to that vapp. And it's as simple as piping the commandlets together and we can see which VMs were in there. Another commandlet is get CI role. This will obviously just give us a list of all the roles that exist in our cloud infrastructure. Get CI user will give us a list of all the users that exist in our cloud infrastructure and we can narrow that down to one org, in this case Coke, so we can see how we have one admin user in that organization. This has been the basic usage getting started guide to the vCloud director commandlets. Next time I'll take you through some more advanced examples.